Welcome to this video, explaining the three basic elements that are used in longitudinal or horizontal railway alignment design. When a railway is designed, its course from the start to the end is plotted. This course can be influenced, or in some cases dictated, by the topography of the land through which it travels or by natural obstacles the route encounters. Track engineers need to be able to avoid these obstacles and features. This is where alignment design comes in. As you watch this video, please do drop any questions you might have in the comments, and I'll try my best to answer them. The longitudinal alignment refers to the horizontal layout, or geometry, of the railway. It is made up of three basic elements. First and most basic of the three we have straights, as the name suggests these sections of track are straight, normally with no cant applied. These sections of track are the fastest parts of the railway, similar to straight sections of road. Ideally all railway would be designed straight, but this is not practical in the real world. Next up is circular curves. These curves have a constant radius along the length of their arc. Curves are used to change the direction of the railway. They can vary from tight radius, short curves in built-up suburban areas, to long, larger radius curves on high-speed lines. Lastly we have transition curves, transitions are in reality a spiral. They have a constantly changing radius. Transitions and their use is important for the comfort and safety of passengers. And that's it. All horizontal track design will be a combination of these three elements. Check out the description or head over to the channel for more videos on track design, including types of curves and more about transitions. Thank you for watching.